For more on this uh, breaking news, we're now joined by our SABC news reporter, Jade Paulzer, and she joins us now from KZN in Durban. Um, Jade, maybe if you can just tell us about, uh, you know, uh, this operation and what it took. I mean, uh, especially uh, when it comes to the strategy that was used by the police to nab the six suspects. Well, I think just listening to that information coming out from, you know, the top brass, one finds it very surreal that finally the justice will prevail, justice for the families. And if we've been following this case, um, like we've been following the Senza Mohiwa case, we really just wanted those suspects to be arrested. But yes, it's been a year, it's, very, it's been a year long that the police have been trying to find these suspects in connection with AKA uh, Keenan Forbes and Tabelo uh, Tibbs Motswane. Um, there has been several leads and then there has also been several several deadlocks and we've seen this in this case but just listening to you know Minister Becky clearly speaking he said it was not a very easy a uh, task um, they had to follow some of the suspects they had to speak to the informers um, many of the informers were also uh, you know uh, uh, telling them where to go and then when they would go there they wouldn't find um, these suspects so much so that they followed two of them to Eswatini but also very difficult working with the media they said in as much as they wanted to tell us what was happening blow by blow they also could not compromise the case in Bali and we've seen this play out in several other cases high profile cases here in South Africa so um, we also heard them speaking about the fact that when we heard these two suspects were uh, nabbed in Eswatini they gave uh, you know the media a run for their money they they went cold turkey on us not because they did not trust us but purely because they knew that these suspects would run and run they did um fortunately they were able to arrest them but yes it has been a, a year-long investigation like i said several stumbling blocks we saw uh, some people being arrested last year in cape town as well um, that didn't show any you know f fruit um for the matter many people have been keeping this case in the public eye people have been asking what's happening with the aka case when he celebrated um, when he would have celebrated his 28th birthday in February in January many people were asking you know what's going on um, we saw memorials happening we saw people coming out on social media asking the police when are they going to arrest the suspects but finally a breakthrough uh, finally we see six suspects being brought to book one suspect however is still on the loose and just going over some of um, the information that came out tonight the spotter followed aka from the airport to the hotel from the hotel to florida road to wish wish uh, restaurant so he was uh, followed from the time that he landed in kwazulu natal four vehicles a firearm cartridges have been recovered the last two vehicles were hired from an owner and when we probed uh, minister clearly on this he said that the owner was not involved in this but merely rented out his cars to these suspects two of the suspects hiding in eswatini we saw they were nabbed on saturday and just looking at the timeline of arrest the first arrest on the 22nd of april uh, second arrest 24th of october uh, the 14th of december and the third suspect also arrested like i said the seventh is still at large we also asked the top brass what was the motive um, they said the motive is still not known mastermind was also the coordinator the main target was forbes now this was a question that many of the journalists were asking was a tibbs meant to be hit was it meant to be an assassination of both of um, the celebrities or was aka the intended target and unfortunately he was just a bystander um, that happened we also heard from minister Tele saying that you know he was actually supposed to be killed in a vehicle but these suspects jumped the gun and ran across the road and shot uh, aka and Tib. so this is the information that is coming to light we were also told that the two suspects from Eswatini will be appearing in uh, the Durban Magistrates Court on Thursday. They did say that they 
will be keeping the journalist abreast with regards to this information. We do know there is going to be an extradition that's going to be taking place. The two countries will be speaking. So we'll have to hear from the top brass with regards to um, when will they be brought into South Africa and indeed when will they go to court. But for now, we're being told they will be appearing in the Durban Magistrates Court on Thursday. Mbali. All right, uh, Jay, thank you so much. Of course, uh, quite chilling, uh, that press briefing. When you listen uh, to the details there by the police minister, Bigitel, as well as uh, General Ntlantlam Kwanazi, particularly uh, when it comes uh, to how, uh, uh, well, uh, the rapper, a.k.a. was actually followed uh, from the airport when he arrived and making his way uh, to the hotel and ultimately to that restaurant where uh, he lost uh, his life. And, of course, Jay, they're saying that those suspects are expected to appear uh, on Thursday at the Durban Magistrates Court.